Kyle Mohan Racing. Today we're doing a tech talk and it is about this extremely rare 1971 Mazda 10A rotary engine. I had the pleasure to work on this, do a little restoration, and you guessed it, we're going to talk about it, a rare one liter Mazda's first rotary engine into production. <music> All right, the Mazda 10A, the original Mazda rotary in production, late 60s, 70s, came in both the Cosmo and this example, which is the R100 version. You can see they feature a twin distributor design. Um, if my recollection is correct, the Cosmo has the distributors slightly more upright and the R100 is slightly more laid over. You can see the uniqueness both in the front cover in the pulley, the castings, although it's very reminiscent of all of the modern rotary engines, um, the R100 uh, and Cosmo motors, these early 10As were very unique. It was, I believe, Mazda's first departure from NSU, um, being this was Mazda's first Mazda production rotary engine, um, being the one that was featured in the Cosmo and the R100. A very unique design, you know, big shout out to Mazda Tricks. They're the ones that let me shoot this video. Um, unfortunately, this motor is no longer there, but I was able to capture it. And it was a motor I restored in the past. Um, very rare, very unique. In my 20 years, I've probably only worked on one of these motors three times. Um, everything about them was unique. Their rotors, their rotor housings, the cast end plates, these were pre-nitride. Um, these were pre the, the three millimeter apex seals. So these had a fatter apex seal, twin side seal grooves. I'll see if I can find one of these rotors lying around because they were very unique and almost need to feature a tech talk in themselves. If we get down in there, you can see that the castings are a little bit thinner. Um, I think Mazda was saving weight or still working everything out and the 10A like the number suggests, is a one liter motor, at least that's what it's based around, um, with the actual cubic inches um, coming in slightly under that. I believe it was 982 or something right around that. Um, typical twin spark plug design, most of your oil, water features, um, oil flow, uh, oil pump design, um, casting indentations are all very, very similar to what your late 13Bs or even early 13Bs do feature, but the 10A was definitely a unique um, and short-lived motor depending on which configuration it came in, uh, either in the Cosmo or in the R100. It did feature a Nikki 4 barrel and in the R100 configuration, uh, to meet uh, most uh, U.S. requirements, it came with a thermal reactor, which you could see down there on the side, not a traditional header or a manifold. Um, and you can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I believe that is the, the thermal reactor. Um, just another very rare and very unique part. So you can see Mazda, in their early designs, was already leaning towards what we see with water pump, pulley front cover configuration but obviously as they went from the 10a to the 12a and into 13b's increasing displacement increasing longevity and increasing power and performance very cool very cool rotary stuff those twin distributors very unique to the early rotaries although there were rotary engines that mazda had worked with prior to this, I believe with NSU. Like I mentioned, this was the first, uh, to my knowledge, um, with the Cosmo and R100 being the first production Mazda rotary engines. And you can see we're looking right there at just the thinness of those 10A rotor housings, and that's how the displacement was changed in these motors, is uh, the rotor and physical rotor housing is shorter or narrower um, reducing the uh, combustion chamber size 
reducing the displacement, although your side plates and height and other dimensions of the motor are very similar. So you end up with a shorter motor as a 10A. Um, dimensionally on height and width, still very similar to your modern uh, traditional 13Bs. So there you have it. The 10A from Mazda. Extremely rare. You don't see these every day, although they share a lot of the similarities to your, your modern rotaries. I think the biggest standout of what makes them different is obviously that twin distributor feature, which Mazda later on was able to put into, into a single distributor. Um, and I believe that's relative to the fact that uh, rotaries do run a lead and trail spark system if everything is operating right. And so you would have had your lead and trail separated right there. With the trail being the upper, you can see that T mark, and the lead being the lower when it comes to those spark plugs. Still running a metering pump. So again, traditional features to the rotary engine that went on for a long time. And as well as the uh, thermostat placement and alternator placement. And you can see where that oil filter also residing in kind of what I would consider the traditional Mazda rotary placement. So very cool, very cool Wankel, very cool Mazda Wankel. You don't see these every day. Um, big shout out to Mazda Tricks, who's had this for quite some time and allowing me to uh, do a restoration a long time ago on this project. But unfortunately, it has gone to a new home. And uh, before it left, I wanted to uh, do a feature and uh, just kind of point out that it's similar but different. If there's any questions, comments below, definitely comment, say hi, follow KMR, and you know it. We're going to wrap on out of here till our next video, KMR.